Delivery Food Safety Dr. Steuven's Dining Grades Essential Food Safety and Sanitation Supported in part by a grant from DiningSafetyAlliance.org and its sponsors. This course is for you if you deliver food from restaurants, supermarkets, or grocery stores, and if you operate a food cart or truck. Recognize that employers must comply with governmental sanitation codes to remain licensed. Health departments can assess fines or close a facility that serves unsafe food. Your role is critical in reducing illness. Keep in mind, it's in your best interest to deliver safe food for your job security, to reduce the legal risks for your employer and you, and to improve public relations. Foodborne illness is an outbreak when two or more people get sick after eating the same food. There are thousands of outbreaks yearly. Thousands of Americans die each year. An estimated eight people die every day. The coronavirus outbreak reminds us of our risk. Protecting yourself during a pandemic like COVID-19 is essential. Request all payments be made by telephone with a credit card. Consider cash to be contaminated. Leave deliveries at the front door and greet customers from six feet away. Frequently sanitize areas in your car that you touch. Wear gloves and don't touch your face. High-risk foods are dairy, eggs, and meats that cause 46% of outbreaks and 42% of illnesses. Fruits and vegetables that cause 21% of outbreaks and 42% of illnesses. Fish and mollusks that cause 28% of outbreaks and 8% of illnesses. Contaminants can cause illness. Contaminants like fingernails, hair, bandages, jewelry, metal shavings or staples, and broken glass. And contaminants can cause injury as well as illness. Bacteria can cause illness as well. Some bacteria can double every 20 minutes. Some bacteria produce spores, otherwise known as botulism, and symptoms occur in 30 minutes to 70 days. Viruses can cause illness. Viruses can survive cold or freezing temperatures. Viruses need a living host to grow. Symptoms occur at various times depending on the virus. For norovirus, 10 to 72 hours. For coronavirus, up to 14 days. And for hepatitis A, 15 to 50 days. Toxins can cause illness. Foods at high risk for toxins are mushrooms, shellfish, large ocean fish, poorly refrigerated fish. Heat may not destroy the toxins and the symptoms occur in minutes to hours. Parasites can cause illness. Parasites cannot grow in food and need to be in animals to survive. Many animals can be hosts, such as cattle, pigs, sheep, poultry, and even humans. Symptoms occur in days to months. Mold and yeast can cause illness. Cold and freezer temperatures may slow growth, but don't kill. Throw out moldy food. Chemicals can cause illness. Spilled chemicals can contaminate food. Chemicals like gasoline, antifreeze, oils, lubricants, and sanitizers. Be careful not to contaminate food containers from your vehicle. Food allergens can cause illness. Common food allergens are tree nuts, peanuts, berries, fish and shellfish, wheat and soy, eggs and milk. Symptoms can occur in minutes and be deadly. Hand hygiene prevents disease. Wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds when arriving at work and before delivering food, after using the restroom, coughing, sneezing, or smoking. Use sanitizers, optimally only after washing. Don't touch ready-to-eat foods without gloves. Washed hands are not sterile. Imagine your dentist in your mouth without gloves. It goes without saying that what's happening in this picture is a violation. You should use gloves when touching foods. Use gloves when touching ready-to-eat foods as well. Whose food would you rather eat? Don't contaminate gloves. What's happening in this picture is a violation. What would you think if your surgeon contaminated his gloves during your operation? 
Or what if your dentist answered the phone while examining your teeth? Glove use. Wash your hands before using gloves. Change gloves after handling meat, poultry, seafood, and produce packages. Glove contamination can occur after touching anything. Change gloves if contaminated. Don't reuse gloves. Wear gloves over bandages. Don't touch drinking surfaces. What's happening in this picture is a violation. Don't touch the drinking lip of the glasses, straws, or eating surfaces of the plate or flatware. Your fingers are dirty and can cause disease. Don't contaminate ice. This is a violation. Don't store items in the serving ice. It contaminates the ice. As a result, the outside of bottles and containers are contaminated and can cause disease. Dispose of all contaminated foods. Frozen food transport. Keep frozen items below zero degrees. Delivery freezer units should have a visible thermometer. Tightly wrap frozen food. Here are the dangers of thawing foods. If frozen foods thaw during transport, there is the potential of time and temperature abuse, a major cause of foodborne illness. The danger zone is where bacteria can grow rapidly. Cold holding during transport. Keep cold items below 41 degrees. Transport refrigeration units should have visible thermometers. Hot holding during transport. Transport warming units should have visible thermometers. Safe food temperatures. These are critical reminders. Transport frozen foods below zero degrees. Transport cold foods below 41 degrees. Food container transport surfaces. Clean and sanitize surfaces in your vehicle before the beginning and at the end of your shift and when contaminated. Use acceptable chemical sanitizers. Don't use scented sanitizers that may cause allergic reactions in your customers. Keep your delivery vehicle clean. Vehicle appearances create first impressions. Prevent pests. Keep your vehicle clean and free of litter. Litter attracts cockroaches, rodents, flies, and ants. Clean up spills and wash surfaces regularly. Remember, cockroaches carry disease. Rodents carry disease. And flies carry disease. Flies breed on spoiled food, spread disease by vomiting, and their legs carry disease. Sicknesses of food delivery staff. Food delivery staff must report illnesses to supervisors and be excluded from work for vomiting or diarrhea, active coughing or pneumonia, known infections such as coronavirus, hepatitis A, salmonella, shigella, and E. coli, sore throat, runny nose or fever, discharge from ears or eyes, or open sores unless they're covered. Delivery service personal hygiene. Wash hands before and frequently during shift. Fingernails should be short and clean. Hair should be in a cap or hat. Uniforms and clothes must be neat and clean. Food delivery etiquette. Never smell of tobacco, alcohol, excessive perfume, or body odor. Do not eat or drink in view of the customer. Don't ask if the customer wants change in anticipation of a tip. It's up to you. Do you want to help your employers stay in business? Do you want to help yourself and your customers stay safe? If your answers are yes, then take pride. Keep it clean. Visit us at DiningGrades.com. Supported in part by a grant from DiningSafetyAlliance.org and its sponsors.